Welcome back to the channel. Today we want to talk about one of the biggest misconceptions that cost a lot of money to live in Italy. It can, of course, cost a lot, but it doesn't have to. We will discuss the fixed monthly costs that we have, but we can also uh, give you a little bit of information on some extra stuff that we uh, spend on. Now, of course, it doesn't apply to everybody, so we're going to separate that. Let's begin. We started tracking our expenses with an app to see how much we're actually spending and also to keep us aware of our expenses. The app is called Spending. It's really good because you can actually put things in categories like groceries, rent, etc. Now, of course, everybody's expenses are different, you know, and it depends on individual circumstances. Let's begin with food and groceries. Here in Italy, it's common to buy your groceries every two to three days. And that is because the kitchen sizes are smaller than what you're used to in the U.S. As you can see, kitchens here are quite smaller than that found in the United States, which means there's not a lot of space to store things. So we have to do a store run uh, once every couple of days. And the most important thing is that certain products will go bad really quick, like, you know, fruits and vegetables and things like that. It seems like there is less preservatives on those items. Now, this is a category that can vary for everybody. We spend around 350 euros in groceries alone. Now, when it comes to dining out, in this category, we're going to divide it in two, uh, aperitivos and dining out. Now, dining out, we spend around 285 euros. Something that is very common here in Italy is aperitivos. And those are drinks and finger food. We spend around 100 euros. So the total for dining out and aperitivos will be 385. Again, if you don't go out that much, then you know, you will be spending less on that and maybe more in groceries. Let's move on to transportation cost. We just bought a car um, about a week ago, uh, but we've been living here for almost two years and we've been relying on walking everywhere, riding our bicycles and public transportation until now. Now we took buses or trains when we needed to. Normally, a bus ticket around the city is a euro and 70 cents. On the months that we spend the most, we spend 22 euros for the bus tickets. We also spend about 18 euros for train tickets. Of course, that depends if you are doing trips, you know, outside the city. Public transportation is reasonable. You can get by just using that, but there are many places where you will need a car. Depending on how much you want to explore Italy, that will dictate if you want to rent a car more often or go through the process of the driver license and buy a car. That's a story for a different video. Let's move on to healthcare and insurance. Here in Italy, if you are a citizen, public healthcare is covered by your taxes. You still have a small fee for certain procedures, but it's usually about 40 euros. But as of this year, 2024, Italy is charging the residents who are not citizens uh, between 2,000 and 2,700 euros a year per household. Now, again, for us, it's technically zero because I am actually a citizen of Italy. Now, let's talk about housing expenses. Let's begin with the biggest expense that is rent. As we mentioned in previous videos, we live in Lucca, which is a city of over 84,000 people, and it has a historical center surrounded by a beautiful medieval wall. A lot of expats or immigrants live inside the city walls, which is the tourist spot. This is where an apartment could get expensive. Rents inside the wall could go anywhere from 800 to 2,000 or even 3,000 dollars, all depends. When you rent outside the wall, prices can drop drastically. We are renting a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment. This apartment was remodeled right before we got here. We're about one and a half kilometers or less than a mile from the city center, AKA the wall. Uh, and our rent is 660 euros. That's roughly $715 as today exchange. Now remember, exchange rates vary. The other house expenses are gas, electric, water, and trash. Now the gas and electric bills come every two months. We're going to give you what we pay on November for the two previous months. It was 58 euros, um, so that will come up to 29 euros per month for gas. 
When it comes to saving money on gas, most people here dress warm while in their apartments and dial down the temperature. So what uses gas in the house is, of course, is the hot water heater, which also heats up the radiators throughout the house. This is the largest one we have in our apartment. And of course, the uh, stove uses gas to cook with. So those are our primary gas users in the house. And we pay 104 euros or $113, which the, is the equivalent to 52 euros per month for electricity. Remember, this is for two months. During winter, the gas especially could double. The water bill comes every three months and we paid 71 euros or $77 roughly. That's a, an equivalent to 24 euros per month. Trash comes once a year and we pay 139 euros or $158. Again, remember that's for, um, that's for 12 months, so it will be 12 euros per month. For Wi-Fi, we spend 23 euros a month. Here in our home, we use a SIM card tower, which is a dedicated SIM card for uh, internet in our home, which we can take with us no matter where we move throughout Italy. And we are spending 18 euros a month for two cell phones total. So all these are the fixed costs and it comes to a total of 1,593 euros. Now, let's talk a little bit about the extra stuff, okay? Um, for instance, we have gone to a movie and we pay 18 euros on tickets and 10 euros at a concession stand. So things like that, you know, you have to add um, as, a, as a separate thing. We have some subscription services that cost us 27 euros a month. Also, uh, during the month of November, we have a family visit and we decided to rent a car because, you know, we wanted to take a couple of trips outside the city. In that case, uh, when we did rent a car, we pay about 400 euros and we spend about 90 euros in gas for the car and 48 euros in tolls and some parking expenses. As you can see, renting a car could um, throw your budget off. That's why we decided to, you know, uh, buy a car since I just finished the process for my driver license in December. And you can see that in a different video that I already did about the process. Another extra expense, uh, we adopted a cat here and we spent 173 euros and that was for his surgery and also included some uh, food and some vet visits. When we add all the extras, it comes up to 766 euros. And if we add both, the basic spending plus the extras, it will give us a total of 2,359. We were surprised to see that we were spending a lot less here in Italy than in the States. But of course, you know, there's always that misconception because when you come on vacation, it's very different than, you know, actually living in a place. And that happens everywhere. You can go to France, you, get, you can visit the United States from another country, and you are going to spend a lot more than just living there because you have a, co a fixed cost of living. For this video, we try to focus on the spending of one month, but again, the extras will vary from month to month. Please remember that these costs are for where we are living here in Luca, but take into consideration that the north of Italy could be a lot more expensive than our location, and the south of Italy is even more affordable than where we live. So we hope this answers some of your questions regarding cost of living here in Italy, at least in our area. If you have any more questions, let us know in the comments. We will see you in the next one.